briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The 1977 case, Burger King Corp. v. Family Dining Inc. came to head in the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania. The litigation turned on the question of whether a contract clause could be enforced in cases where strict compliance would lead to severe financial loss or penalty. The prime players, Burger King and Family Dining, had entered into a contract known as the Burger King Territorial Agreement. Under this agreement, Family Dining was granted sole rights to operate Burger King restaurants within a specified territory in Pennsylvania. The caveat? Family Dining had a fixed requirement to maintain a specific number of functioning restaurants for a tenure stretching 80 years. Initially, Burger King had turned a blind eye towards a default by Family Dining. However, the gloves came off when a squabble erupted over territorial exclusivity. Push coming to shove, Burger King lodged a complaint with the intention of barring Family Dining from using its trade symbols for a ninth proposed restaurant. This contention was met with resistance as the court was asked to mull over whether Burger King had any legal standing to flag Family Dining's tardiness, given the fact that Burger King had given them a pass previously without demanding strict adherence to the stipulations laid out in the agreement. The case also underlined Burger King's fumbling efforts at communication after it became a subsidiary of Pillsbury, which coincided with Family Dining's attempts to open additional restaurants ahead of schedule. The court was tasked with deciding whether the existing contract held water. The court shot down Burger King's attempts to dismiss the territorial agreement with family dining as illogical. It further justified the refusal by highlighting that the fast food giant was not in a position to declare the existing agreement null and void. The judges referred to a principle of equity in reaching their decision and pointed out that stripping family dining of its exclusive rights under the guise of contract termination would amount to unjustifiable forfeiture. They concluded that such a drastic step was unwarranted, as family dining had not breached its terms of the agreement. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.